Hello guys, the activities of bandits in Nigeria has increased though. These people, we don't really know what they are looking for. We don't know what they are up to. It's just very, very unfortunate that the leaders, you know, they are more concerned about, about themselves. Maybe because they feel that these people who are being adopted by these guys are not their family members and all that. So they are less concerned. I know why I say they are less concerned because if the government want to really, you know, control these activities of these guys, they would be able within one day. So what is going on? Nigerians, this will shock you as bandits struck again. This is Kaduna State. You understand? Kaduna State, they adopt Noxy mother. You know, say their hearts, they did their back and 22 others in Kaduna State. You understand? This is what is going on now, currently. Bandits storm the Mani village in Rido, Rido Ward, and uh, Dan Hunu uh, second, uh, Mini Mini City, both in the Chikon local government area of Kaduna State. This happened on Wednesday, and Thursday reportedly adopted 23 people. It was reported that the bandit stormed the Mani community in large numbers. While the residents were still asleep, they began shooting and then moved from house to house, adopting about 19 people. The victims reportedly included a nursing mother and an infant. You understand? In another incident, the bandits attacked Dan Hunu, second new uh, Milini city, also in Chikon local government area, where they adopted a nurse, a nurse and a three sons. The bandits attacked the home of uh, Mr. Mortu Adeleke, adopting his wife and three sons while leaving him behind. The incident took place around 10 p.m. when the gunmen invaded the community, firing shots indiscriminately and without resistance before taking the victims. The source told Vanguard. The source noted that Mrs. Adeleke, unable to keep peace with the bandits, was abandoned in the bush and has since returned home. However, our three sons were taken. Following the recent uh, kidnapping of two journalists, Mr. Adeleke had decided to relocate and had secured a new apartment in the Isefa area just two days before the attack. So the source said. Meanwhile, Mr. Adeleke and his family had begun moving their belongings from Dan Hunu, second and we are, plan we are planning to complete their move by next weekend when this tragic event occurred. Efforts made by Sahara reporters to get confirmation or an update from the state police command spokesperson ASP, you know, Hassan failed as he did not answer calls or reply to message sent to him. They not go reply, they not go answer call. Well, uh, you know, say before, they go call them shocking news. These days, it's no longer shocking. Nigerians are getting used to bad things now. You understand? This evil. Nigerians are getting used to it. It's no longer shocking. These people always come while people are sleeping. And you see the new method. They go from house to house. They don't wait for people again to come to the farm. They understand Nigerians have run away now because... Now farm, now and then they, t they take the adopted. People have run away from, from farm. So they come to the community. They go from house to house. But the funny part of all this, Wahalabi say, these people, they will operate like two or three hours unchallenged. It's not that they are silently operating, no. Gone. Go, they go on. So does it mean that they don't have security close to those areas? Or all these things, they happen, nobody feels see make cause, say, I see so, 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 so. No agents or what, I mean, agencies, emergency, I meant to say. Say, maybe when government don't put on grant or the community, 
say if something like this, they happen like this, they get ba uh, back up and all that. Now, we cannot understand that nobody is going to save us from this matter. So it's high time the Northerners will stand and defend themselves for this matter. How this thing started, now I know. Now I still know how I go take or the stand to make sure that this matter ends. The way it is right now, he's growing very white every now and then. And hey, the thing is growing wide. You understand? These people, they don't turn to like, they, are, they have become unstoppable. You get, and this is caring the way they are going. This is caring. You understand? Going from houses, house to house to adopt people. That one, eh? Na insult. It's an insult to Nigerians. It's an insult to Nigerian government. It's an insult to Nigerian military. Nigerians, which way we day now? We not get peace. We not get food. We not get money. What exactly is going on now in Nigeria? And the person that told us about Renew Hope agenda. So all these ones included the Renew Hope agenda. Eh? All these ones included the Renew Hope agenda. Nigerians can no longer sleep peaceful in their homes. This is really becoming something else. I beg my people, make a drop out for you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I beg, share this video, make it go viral. So Nigerians can understand what is happening today in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you.